No. Sorry, Tomoyo. I can't use my shoulder. Huh? Were you hurt? Yeah, long ago at least. It's about as high as I can raise it. Is that so? I'm sorry. Nah. And how about we do this? What's this? They're all aiming for Sunahara's face. Try to blow him right off the field. That's pretty roundabout. I know. How good is it? I know how good his reflexes are, so say what you like, I think it's impossible. It'll just end with him protecting his face with the mitt. I'm not saying you really should blow him off the field, I'm just saying you should throw with that feeling in mind. Don't even look at his mitt, just look at Sunahara's audience face. I don't know if I can. Just try it. Well, if you can exist, then I guess I have no choice. I'll try it. Why are we doing this? I give Tomoyo a clap on the shoulder and step away. Tomoyo then returns to the mound. A game in no time for a lover's rendezvous, you know. <laughs> I feel like those words just now caused Tomoyo to snap. Interesting. I'll take you on then, Sunohara. No, oh, well, this guy's the one you're taking on, though. Nope, it's you. I'm pitching. Tomoyo goes through the pitching motion. Alright, bring it. One to the ball behind your back and then throws it. <laughs> Sunohara is blown back. A cloud of dust rises up when he hits the ground. The field falls silent. Everyone is in silent amazement. Hey, umpire. That was a strike right now, right? Uh, yeah, strike. At the time. So he calls out. The club member on the field all time and says, cry out. Even I'm in the mood to shout out to her. Just, what was that? Stop asking you to throw this ball. She really has some terrifying prospects for the future. Actually, she's already really tired of crying as she is. I'm throwing the next one now. Um, your catcher's passed out, though. You can just hold him up. He'll at least make a nice shield for you. But, but come on, just do as he says, damn it all. Okay. I'm pitching. <laughs> she wins with the second ball behind her back and throws. <laughs> Soon Har's already fucking dead. <laughs> Strike. Strike. Third ball. Whoosh. Strike. Strike. Eh. Strike three, you're out. Let's uh, hurry up. Name your next batter. Captain was dazed in stupefaction and couldn't manage to say anything. You can do that, you'll do. Said Tomoyo, order someone to stand batter. Another strike, that makes three. With that, things were now over. It's the end of the match, Tomoyo wins, and Sunahara is completely dead. Ah. <sighs> like I ended up getting all serious over something stupid. But I've cleared up my bad mood with this, at least. All things considered, I think I can say this was nice. Tsunohara's lying on the ground, his face covered in swelling and bruises. I did my best at catching, didn't I? He just sleep talking, don't mind him. You, what's your name? Captain suddenly forces his way in between Tomoyo and me. Me? Yeah. Sakagami. And your first name is Tomoyo? I think I heard people calling you that. Yeah, it is. Alright, Tomoyo-kun. How about from today onward we aim for Koshians together? She's a woman, you know. We can make do if we just disguise her. Ah, the spotlight has finally come down on your puny little baseball club. I'm sorry, but you can just stay puny and little. Don't say that. See, things always end up like this. This is exactly why I didn't want to do this. Tomoya, do something. But we've already achieved our objective here. Huh? Objective. Do we have an objective for doing this? These guys definitely vote for you now. Their captain is like that, after all. Ah. Huh. So that's how it was. You're doing this for me. Don't worry about it. I mean, you're the one who actually did it. All I did was watch. Tomoya. Thank you. Hey you guys, just so you know, Tomoya's a candidate for student council president. You'd better remember. Oh, gaining in the voters. There it is. May 7th. So apparently these guys, uh, those guys were having a match with the baseball club. Well, the captain is the only one who's decent, but apparently he, even he suffered a strikeout without even a, as much as grazing the ball. Who was the pitcher? They say it was that girl. Seriously? After walking around, we can already hear lots of people gossiping about us. <laughs> Looks like I can be proud of myself once again. Apparently the catcher fainted during the match. <laughs> well, 
Sorry about that. Shut up, Tsunohara. Damn it, this time will definitely make sure I stand out. Tomoya, are we going to do some the same thing today? Of course we are. That'd be quite good if we were to do soccer, you know? That was probably too difficult for someone without experience, so we'll leave that for later. Let's go up against the softball club next. I'm going to be a catcher again, aren't I? That will only be underarm throws, so don't worry. I just showed that this time the guy crushed the softball club. <laughs> Wait, wasn't our soft club, softball club actually quite good? That's why people keep saying those guys are the real deal. Though apparently the guy who was caddying totally holding them back. <laughs> How will you try then? Oh, the loser's here. Don't call me a loser. <laughs> Shut up, Tsunahara. But he's calling me a loser. Shut up, loser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't really the sort of situation I'd like to be in. Why? I'm sick and tired of being a victim of rumors. Well, of course they'll be talking about you. That's part of the endorsed by, part of being endorsed by everyone. Right now, all we just need to do is work hard and wipe out all the bad rumors. It's almost like you're coercing them to me. Not at all. I've never once tried to force someone to vote for you. People are just charmed by you when faced with your talent. And if you were a man, that might have felt jealous. But there's not even that since you're a woman. That's what I don't like. We're trying to win them over by force. Don't misunderstand, alright? We're winning them over with sports, not with violence. This is probably the healthiest thing we could be doing. You're just being too self-conscious about the past. I wonder. Let's just keep working hard like this. If you say so, I'll try. Is it me saying so? Weren't you the one putting all your energy into aiming for the student council? Ah. That's right. I'm sorry. Nah. What do you think we should do today? Let's see. Don't you think it, we'd be good at kendo? I'm sure I'm not. She was ridiculously good. The shinai of the regular members didn't even come near her. All she did was tap lightly on the mask of her opponents, who were actually getting all serious about this. Tsunari, you haven't worked yourself up today yet, have you? Let's have a match. <laughs> you bastard, you'll be on the load for a hurt if you think I'm just crappy as the rest of these guys. <laughs> he didn't need to, be, he wouldn't even need to get hurt today, but he did anyways. <laughs> However, we didn't have much time. It would have been nice if we were able to have a showdown with all of the clubs. But we didn't even finish with half of them before election day came. I wonder how much we managed to fascinate people with Tamoyo in the last few days. Each class votes during homeroom in their own classes. All I had to do was circle one of the names on the ballot and hand it back in. I circled Tamoyo's name on my paper. Did she win? <gasps> Did she win? It'd be nice the next morning. Both Tamoyo and I skipped out on our morning homeroom and met up in the empty classroom. Even Tomoyo, who's normally fussy about these kind of things, doesn't say anything right now. You've been really working hard for me up until today. I'd like to express my gratitude for that. Thank you. Well, if I weren't here, they made it into the council easily anyway. Please don't say that. Because I really enjoyed my time with you. I enjoyed it too. Tomoya. I want to continue being with you even if this is all finished. Today and tomorrow, I want to be with you forever. Still, we made a promise. And I'll bet you won't go back on it, just like I wouldn't ever go back on being in the student council. I know that much. Guess that's why my chest is hurting so much right now. This will be our last time. Forgive me. Tomorrow comes closer with her mouth. Then her mouths meet, meet each other. Continually, until the final moments have arrived. This school broadcast can be heard echoing throughout the classroom. And letting people know the results of the election for the student council. The name of the school council president is. It's not her. No, it is. <laughs> Tomorrow, Sekigami. My chest hurts. Probably why we stayed like that the entire time. Because this is the answer to her. Yes, this is my answer. Your. She makes her mouth part for a moment and speaks. You're kissing the student council president right now, you know. I guess you're right. I push my lips onto hers once more. Hmm. Once again, she presses it down my chest, takes her mouth off mine. Ha. Tomoya. 
Right now, I'm already the student council president. I'm no longer your girlfriend. So I need to quit these kind of things. No. What a selfish guy. I want to be with you too, today and tomorrow. Huh? I want to stay like this forever. That's my answer to you. Really, Tomoya? Yeah, it's not that bad having student council president for a girlfriend. Is that so? I'm glad. The whole time I was so anxious about this. I really thought it'd be over. I'm glad. Tomoya puts her forehead against my chest. Softly caress her hair. Something you couldn't accept had turned into something acceptable. I wonder if it's because of this family she often talks about. I wonder if Tomoya is something like family to me. The entire time we had been separated. How could we both bore the same, exact same feelings? Both of us had been born in a cold household with no warmth at all. She truly really was a long lost relative. Hmm. Wouldn't want to put it that way, but alright. <laughs> oh, she's still here. She's going to be, oh, uh, oh, yep. Curtains being open, radiant light pierced my eye. Tamoya, it's morning. Hmm? Quint with half open eyes and confirmed that there is a female student standing in my room. I see. So this means all I ha I also choose chose to keep on wa waking up like this too. To be honest, it's pretty tough. Tomoyo. What? Let's break up. Huh? Though our time was short, it was fun. Once again surrendered to my drowsiness and turned over in my bed. Tomoyo, are you joking? You're joking, right? Hurry up and say it's a joke. Deja vu. Whoa. If you don't, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Quickly rise up from my bed. Tomoyo sitting on the corner of the bed looking down at the floor. Tomoyo, you really are a cute girl, aren't you? That's a joke too, right? Well, you at least take your boyfriend's words at face value. If I did, then it'd mean you also weren't joking about breaking up just now, so I don't want to. Guess that's true. So I can't take things you say seriously. Well, I'd at least want you to take the compliments I give you as a man, seriously. In that case, in that case, don't say things like, let's break up again, even as a joke. I don't like feeling so heart heartbroken every time I do this. Without saying anything, I tightly hug her from behind. Never thought I'd ever come to like a person this much. Tamoya-san, good morning. Yes, good morning. Congratulations on your appointment as student council president. Yes, thank you. We passed through the morning school gates as she busily exchanged greeting with people. I really think this group is ridiculous. This what's with this trio we have here. I can understand a group with just us in it. A group of lazy people can spend the day doing nothing. But what's with the girl walking in front of us? The student council president. What's up with that? Isn't her work just completely the opposite of ours? And because of that, we had to come to school this early. Now it's almost like we're being good little boys too. Well, just suffer through it. <laughs> What's wrong? I hate this. I'm gonna go crazy with this kind of lifestyle. Mom. <laughs> yeah, you've gone crazy alright. I'm running. He turns around and then dashes away. Hmm? Tomoy looks back. Where is he going? Looks like he's going back home to sleep. That's so interesting. So he's a challenge to me, is he? Alright then, I'll gladly accept. Tomoya also da goes dashing away. <laughs> ah, Suna Heart is being dragged along. I just forgot to turn on my video cord is all. You liar, you didn't even have a TV in your room. It looks quite pitiful. <laughs> and then lunch break. I wonder if Tomoya Chan will come. Or rather, the student council president. Don't you think she'll come as long as we tell her not to? So now we're gonna have lunch with the student council president. Don't you think it'll be different? Or do you think it'll be different? I'm sure she'll start fussing about school regulations. You might even get forced into to use proper manners when we eat. What's that? Proper way of eating lunch involving separating one's food into three portions bread, a side dish, and soup in that order. Huh. I'm just the kind of guy who likes to keep his main dish for last, man. What are you, a grade schooler? I'm running. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you shouting like that? Yeah. 
you're just one step too late. Tomoyo, why are you taking the offensive Tsunohara pisses on Tomoyo? I'm eating the vegetables first. Problem with that? What's this guy talking about? He's just an idiot. Oh yeah, that's right. Why are you agreeing here? Tomoyo, you bastard. If you dare start nagging about things. I don't know what you're talking about, but save your false accusations for later. I'm busy. With what? The student council is convening, and I have to be there. That's so. I just can't give you this. Please, you two enjoy it on your own. Places something wrapped in a large hand handkerchief on the table. Us too? What? Me too? Yeah, you helped me out a bit in a way too, after all. See you in a bit then. She deftly turns around and leaves it gallantly. I see. When you share now, it really does seem like she's part of the student council. It's like she already become dignified. I think her dignity has always been there, though. You can say that again. How about you sit down? Yeah, there's no reason to go and buy lunch anymore now. I guess she's got her good points, too. Tinoara pulls out his chair and takes out the lunchbox from the handkerchief. There's two, I bet. We'll probably have a hard time figuring out which one is yours and which one is mine. What came out of the handkerchief was one elliptical, lovely lunchbox made of plastic, and one square lunchbox made of aluminum. That's so easy to figure out, it's actually kinda sad. But still, don't you think it's a little weird that she'd give you a lunchbox? Well, it was a little surprising. No, what I mean is, don't you think she's trying to use this as a coup de grace? Wait, what? To Tomoyo. Your existence is nothing but a nuisance. I mean, if only you didn't exist, it'd be just her and me during lunch break. In that case, what are you saying is in this lunchbox? A bomb. Once you open it up, you'll be blown into smithereens. Seriously? Wait. Won't you get blown up too then? You're right. And I bet it's poison. Poison that'll make you want to strip naked and fly out of the window, screaming yee-haw. Seriously? I don't want to die like that. At the very least, I want to die with cl well clothed. Then I'll make sure that when you're on the verge of jumping, you'll somehow be wearing your underwear. Grass, yes. That's, what, that's why I call you a friend. That's what I call a friend. Wait, if you got time to do that, then why don't you just stop me? Stopping or not stopping you is a whole different story. Why? Come now, think back. I was actually a pretty good guy, wasn't I? Yeah, you're right. I know. How about this, then? If at the time every single person in the class says he actually was a surprisingly good person, don't you think he'll come and stop you? Isn't that something people say only after I've died? If I'm on the verge of jumping out the window, then the guy saying he actually was a surprisingly good person, don't you think, would just be crazy. No, they'd simply be jumping the gun a bit, so it'd be totally possible. Isn't it? It isn't. And actually, people don't re resent me that much. I mean, Tomoyo is normally just shy, so she only ever acts coldly to me. Like today, she'll treat me kindly as long as she's not there on the spot herself. Don't you kind of feel like this lunchbox is a way of saying, I'm sorry for being so nasty to you up until now? I'll tell you this as her boyfriend. 98% of that is just your delusion. Well, I bet there's a lot of her that even you don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this before it gets cold. Tsunora opens up the aluminum box. It's a lunchbox, so I think it'll be cold to begin with, though. Open up mine. My lunchbox has the same kind of color and lovely contents as yesterday. And Tsunohara is... Why, this is nice. See you with lunch. So, does it feel like you're sorry for being nasty until now? No? It's more like, hey, you try your best now too, eh? That's, that's about right. I'm being scolded here, aren't I? Well, it's true she might have made it offhandly, but I'm sure it's still delicious. Let's see then. Yes, it's delicious. It's a complicated feeling though. Now, I wonder if she'll be there after classes. She's probably still busy. I do think she'll come though. I'll be a bit late. In front of my eyes are empty lunchbox wrapped in the handkerchief. She might be late, but she'll come. I have no doubt about that. I guess we'll wait then. Yeah. My classmates are all starting to go home. 
Looks like once you become a third year, you don't even entertain the idea of hanging around in the classroom to kill time afterward. She's pretty late. Yeah. I'm sure she's so busy that she doesn't have time to sneak out of there. Yeah. The speaker used for a school broadcast starts making noise. Someone must start restarting the broadcast. Chime signaling the start of broadcast rings. Mm, ahem. Um, Tomoya. Sorry, but please go home without me. <laughs> Sinahara both fall out of their chairs at the same time. sakigami san using this for private messages of it. Last thing we hear is chest chest chastising voice as the broadcast is cut. Your girlfriend is incredibly bold, isn't she? Well, at least you know that from experience by now. Will she really be alright doing something like that? Still, did it really take up that much time being the student council president? Totally. I like that though, that was good, that was good. In the end, the two of us go home alone together. That doesn't make any sense, but alright. <laughs> Several people are holding large boxes of cardboard boxes. Passes. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore that. Come to think of it. Hmm? Isn't the day after tomorrow the Founders Festival? Oh yeah, the homeroom teacher did say something about that. Well, the we third years don't have to do anything, so it doesn't matter for us. No, don't you think it matters plenty, at least to us? Why? Isn't it organized by the student council? I mean, the inauguration was only yesterday. Well, I don't really know the details, but don't you feel that's way she, that's what she's busy with today? I see. Well, it's the money chat we're talking about, so it'll probably end up a success. Yeah, it probably will. <laughs> May 10th already, huh? Wow. I wish my chair would stop squeaking. Tomoya. Tomoya, please wake up. I hear a voice. Alright, stop. There we go. However, I don't feel any light pierce my eyelids. Try opening my eyes. What the fu- Alright, hello. <laughs> Tomoya is there. What's wrong? Sorry for waking you up like this, when it's not even light outside yet. Guess we're looping today. Alright, let's go then. No! Well, that sounds like it'd be fun too. Started repairing. We started preparations for the Founder Festival day yesterday. Have to get there early today too, to help with preparations until classes start. You only need to become the student council president, and you already have work? Of course. The Founders Festival is the first and final occasion where the previous and current student councils can work together. This way they are able to teach us a lot of things. Very important time. I see now. So I won't be able to come to school with you this morning either. We would not We would be able to go if you'd be fine with leaving now though. What time is it? Not even 6 o'clock yet. 6 o'clock? I only just got to sleep. Okay, please just relax and go to sleep then. Nah, it's not like you can just leave in class to make up for it. No, I won't allow you to do that. I want you to sleep right now. Well, if you say so then, I guess I've got no choice. Well then, I'm off now. Wait. Tomoe was about to get up and leave, but she kneels again for me anyway. Place my hand against her neck and draw her to me. Brought her lips together. Hmm. Not soon after, I made them part again. Well then, good night. Yeah, you do your best now. I will. Then while he leaves. When I next I open my eyes, I am alone. Pretty lonely. To feel the sleep deprivation. However, for some reason, I didn't feel like sleeping anymore. Guess I'll go. Slip out of bed. Guess I'll go and wake him up as well. Tends to be annoying if I were the only one to get to school on time. Hey, wake up, it's morning. Huh? The moment he opens his eyes, you know, heart sits himself up. Good morning. It'd be an honor if you can encourage me all day to long today as well. Huh? You're not Tomoyo Chan. Yeah, it's me. But what? Is this some kind of greeting you'd normally give Tomoyo? Or is Tomoyo Chan. She said she had to start early today to pair over tomorrow. Gah! So it isn't. So isn't it fine if I'm late then? You're going to back to sleep? Yeah, I'm going to sleep. Good night then. Good night.
Sinara lies down again. Once I see him lying down, I try to leave this room. Wait. Sinara slowly gets up again. What is it? Somehow I don't feel sleepy at all. Not so. You coming with me then? I guess so. I'm awake now anyway. Hurry up and get ready. Yeah. Feels pretty lonely now that Mac just the two of guys, isn't it? Even if it was that girl, I kind of got used to having a female presence here. Quite startling discovery for me. He's saying some pretty crazy things in front of uh, that girl's boyfriend. Ah, sorry, sorry, but Tomoe Chan does have her key points. Like making a second lunchbox for me, and like having a big breast. So having big breasts is cute. Hmm. Must be nice to be you, Okazaki. She doesn't kick you even if you touch them, huh? No, well, I haven't ever touched them. Seriously? What now? What's it matter to you? I see. You're blooming late, aren't you? So I'm guessing you still haven't kissed either. Heck, I can't even imagine you guys doing that kind of thing. Seeing you silently joining lips, that'd be a laugh. We did just this morning. <laughs> and when you part, you'd say, please wait, stop her and kiss her again. That'd be ridiculous. Hit Tuna hard on the back of the head with my bag. What's that for? Could it be really doing that stuff? There's just a beetle on your head. Don't hit me so hard, just squash a bug. Damn it, I'm gonna go, cr I'm gonna go cry in a Poya chan tell her you're bullying me. <laughs> That's definitely gonna blow up in your face. Why? <laughs> so in the end, you're being lovey-dovey. Pretty much. No, I'm sure. I'm sure like a girlfriend too. That'd be impossible. Don't say it's impossible. <laughs> classes are dismissed once morning classes end. Most of the third years aren't involved with the Founders Festival and thus return home. Although first and second years are all busy with their preparations. And needless to say, so is the student council, which has organized the whole thing. I'm pretty hungry. Let's eat something and go home. Yeah. The Founders Festival is what we call our school festival. We walk down the hallway, giving sidelong glances at each class busily preparing the pieces. Are you going to go tomorrow? I probably want to at least be there when they take attendance. Since just by doing that, I'll get attendance for the entire day. That's true, and it's already become a habit to wake up early anyway. But if things are like they are now, I feel like I'll probably end up going back home right away. <laughs> After each eating lunch at the nearby diner, we immediately go to Sunahara's room and lay around like we always do. I'm coming in. The door opens and Tomoyo appears. Sunahara, who had been sprawled out lazily, stands up. Did you finish everything? Not yet, and it doesn't seem like I'll finish soon, either. I just snuck out as soon as lunch break came. But let me eat here with you. He placed a bag from the lunchbox door on top of the katatsu. Must be rough. Of course it's rough, but you know. She sits herself down and takes a lunchbox from the bag. With the combined strength of just a few people, I can prepare an environment where a lot of people can have fun. That's a truly worthwhile endeavor. To be honest, it's fun. That's so. That's good then. Tomorrow, Tomoya starts eating from her lunchbox. Yeah. Sunahara. Hmm? Sorry, but please go buy her some tea. Why does it have to be me? Didn't you eat her lunch yesterday? Well, something like that may have happened. Sorry, Sunahara. But I never said I was going. Well, whatever. If I stay, you'll just tell me to leave anyway. So you do understand. He reluctantly stands up and leaves his room. Now it's just the two of us. Tomoya stops moving her chopsticks. But you know, I do think it's unfortunate that I can't enjoy it as an actual participant. Especially since now, Tomoyo, I have you as a boyfriend. We can attend these kinds of events together. We can't attend these kind of events together, it's pretty sad. But well, nothing we can do, right? Yeah. But I, I do think we should try doing something. Even just for a little while, even if it's just for the 10 minutes. I want to be with you. I want to look at this place together and visit the freshman booth with you. Don't work too hard now. I think it'll be fine. I don't have much to do on the day itself. Is that so? In that case, I, could probably, I do probably want to go with you. I'll attend with you and we'll see what happens. 
Yes, I'll do my best. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. Shinhara comes back. Here's some top grade deluxe gyo 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 tea. <laughs> Premium variety of tea that's made by shading le tea leaves as they are dried. Huh. Yes, thank you. Sorry, Sunohara. Can you get some for me too? <laughs> you should have said so in the first place. Tomoya, you can just drink half of mine. Nah, it's not like I actually want to. I just wanted to try a word out to Don't worry about it. You must have lots of free time if you're doing stuff like this. We're already done with our talk, so I don't mind you staying here now. Somehow I feel like this is this room is slowly becoming less and less mine. Well, half of it is ours anyways. No, all of it's mine. <laughs> Man, we are just passing, the days are just passing by. It's the morning of the Founders Festival. I'm gonna save real quick. It says to save, so I'm gonna save real quick. Ah, uh, Sinhara, wake up. I'm tired. Aren't you coming from the morning roll call? You can just come back and sleep afterward, Matt. I mean, it's so close by. Yeah. Finally slipped out of bed. Whoa. Everyone sure looks like they're having fun. <laughs> I like that guy in the mascot costume in the back. He looks really impressed. And that's because it's the last day of third years can actually relax. It's not like they're elementary school students. They shouldn't be slacking off just because they're a school event. Your brain's actually slacking off all year round though. Well, there's even a freshman booth. Well, I'd expect at least one class to prepare something like that. Hmm, wait. Isn't that a student from a different school? Yeah, even normal people are allowed to visit. Huh. Have you never attended this at all? Well, no, because I've always skipped school. Just then the bell rings. Come on, homeroom's starting. Once we finish taking attendance during homeroom, we get free time. Oh, look at all these. Aw, oh, everything's different. Alright, we're free. Yeah, it's fine now. You can go home and sleep. Well, I went through all the trouble of coming here, so I guess I'll stay for a little long more. You want to go eat something? Or perhaps try hitting on a girl from another school? Sunahar is totally getting in the mood for this. This guy's so easy to understand. Oh, that girl's cute. You. Well, let's go, Kazaki. Why? To try and make friends with that girl, of course. Why... Don't you know I have Tomoya? <laughs> Don't be so obstinate. Uh, Tomoya-chan is busy anyway, so she won't find out. It's not a matter of her finding out or not. Come on, don't say that, man. Won't you think I'm some kind of creepy guy if I go up and talk to her alone? All you have to do is be, the, be in the conversation. Just stand there next to me. You'll be fine with that, right? Is that alright if, right if I make a demon face? What? Why do you have to be angry standing next to me? At least smile. Alright, I'll just stare into empty space and laugh the whole time. Eh, eh, eh. Please don't. And how about I stand there with a surprise expression and just act normal. If I act normal, then she might try talking to me. <laughs> 